That is 10 News meteorologist Craig Rare. This is serious stuff actually taking on the air in Space Museum's wind tunnel just one day after facing those fierce winds in the Far East County. The wind tunnel operators cranked up the intensity to simulate the powerful winds that were sweeping across San Diego. Craig taking one for the team and he shows us the record he broke inside that wind tunnel today. 43, we're going up fast. Starting to lean into this. This is what it looks like standing in a wind tunnel with the wind speeds climbing. Woo! This is what it looks like from the 10 years GoPro looking into the wind tunnel. And at a top sustained wind speed at 60 miles per hour, I had to lean into the wind. That was just 14 miles per hour shy of hurricane category one force winds. Here's another view from the 10 years GoPro. This is awesome. <laughs> And this was me Wednesday blowing around San Diego County at Lake Cuyamaca, a rare sight. White caps you'd expect on the ocean. And we had a wind gust of 101 miles per hour at Sill Hill, just south of Julian. We wanted to know what it would be like to stand in a wind that strong. So we went to the place where world class athletes like cyclists go to train. It's also the place where airplane companies go to test their wings. They eased me into the winds. 27 miles per hour. I'm still able to stand up nice and tall, but I feel like I want to lean into it. But I was cut off at 60 miles per hour here at the San Diego wind tunnel. We wanted to cut you off at 60. I know you wanted to go to 80 or 100, but uh, we do want to make sure you return back home safely. This is the driving force. These are called fan blades and they stand 20 feet in diameter. Chuck Ninsky stands six foot two inches tall. You can see how he compares in size to each blade. Once going, they can generate winds up to 270 miles per hour. And at the end of 60 miles per hour, I was still standing. 37, 35, 29, 28, 26, 25. You're very aerodynamic. <laughs> very aerodynamic. Ooh, I have to tell you that inside that wind tunnel at top speeds, it was incredible, yeah. and you are here to tell us about it. I mean, how, how did you even breathe with that? <laughs> it, that was it. It was hard to breathe in there. Once it got going past 40 miles per hour, so it was tough to breathe, and we broke a record. I was the first person to stand in there at that high of the winds. I wanted to go 80. That was the max that they were going to let me go, but they cut me off. How different so, was it from the actual wind yesterday? It was, um, this was tough because there's sustained wind, so it's constantly coming. Yeah. Yesterday, you get a little gust, so you kind of, you know, bobble around. Today, this was sustained, so you were into it. And it was just tough to stand into it. It was almost like leaning forward like you were skiing or jumping off a, a jet. You and know? even holding the, the flagpole, yeah. I mean, it's hard to keep that from slamming back into mm -hmm. you. And I had to point wind. it into yeah. the wind because for a while it started to create drag and started to go side to side. So I pointed it into the wind for that specific reason. It's a good lesson because yeah. we need to be careful when they're blowing yes. out there. Yes. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Craig. You got it.